Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here uh, this morning. We really appreciate it. It's a tremendous honor for me and our firefighters and paramedics to be with you this morning. And it's a special honor uh, for me. My name is Brian Jeffries, and I'm the president of the Professional Firefighters of Arizona. I represent 7,000 firefighters, paramedics, and EMTs that work the streets and take care of you and your families throughout the state of Arizona. And it's also a special honor for me to be with Scott Smith today because I also am an emergency responder in Mesa where I got to work with Scott Smith on rebuilding our tremendous community. Seven years ago, the city of Mesa was about to go over a cliff and join cities like Detroit in economic disparity. Mesa was plagued by years of entrepreneurship being stymied by red tape and plagued by years of businesses and residents leaving the city, as well as plagued by a crumbling infrastructure. Uh, while Mesa was declining, Arizona native Scott Smith was honing his skills and his business acuity in the private sector. He was turning businesses around, helping them become profitable, helping them create jobs throughout Arizona. And all the while uh, he was creating these jobs in Arizona, uh, he could no longer watch what was going on in his beloved city of Mesa. So in 2008, he ran and became our mayor in Mesa. He ran, ran and soon thereafter, government reform became almost instantaneous. Red tape was cut, new businesses were formed, and new jobs were gained, new infrastructure was built. We brought the likes of Apple and Bridgestone, high paying jobs throughout our wonderful community, and build a better Mesa, he did. Along with our Mesa Council, Mesa Citizens, Scott Smith saved our community from impending firehouse closures. At that very time, when I was working out there with our leadership, we were in genuine fear of layoffs, putting paramedics off the trucks, and closing some firehouses. This was a reality for us at the time. Scott Smith injected new life in our community, and he, he was able to turn us around, find efficiencies, and help put, a, put things back together again. He also did amazing things to bring education to our community. Five new colleges built bricks and mortar uh, education opportunities for our great citizens of Mesa, as well as the entire region. And, uh, and during all these great things that he was doing for our city and giving us his skills, his talents, and his knowledge, and he, he was also doing some things that he would never share publicly, but I'm going to do today. All the time he was our great mayor and putting himself full time out in front of our community, he was also finding time to fly medical missions as a volunteer, helping people even outside of our great state uh, with his own personal resources in their time of great need. And I've always really respected Scott for that great work that he's done that he doesn't share with too many people. Fellow Arizonas, I stand here today representing 7,000 emergency responders throughout Arizona because we hold a very special bond with Scott Smith. At a time when we're about to close firehouses and lose vital personnel who come when you call 911, Scott Smith arrived to help us. He helped us turn this trend around, and today response times are down, and we've opened three new firehouses in our great community of Mesa. Fellow Arizonas, I want you to know that these words I speak today weren't developed by the campaign staff or uh, any other operative. We wrote these words because they come from our heart. We really mean this because we have a very special bond with Scott Smith. And for these reasons and more, your Arizona firefighters, paramedics, and EMTs strongly support and I'll urge other fellow Arizonans to come out and support Scott Smith to be our next governor of the great state of Arizona. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. I want you to know what a great honor it is for me to stand before you this day and to accept this endorsement for men and women in Arizona who truly put their lives on the line. Those who run into danger as opposed to running away from danger, but that's not the real story here. The real story is, and, and I appreciate everything that Brian has said about the progress that we made in Mesa, the challenges that we confronted. Now, this was not a Scott Smith story. This was, a, this was not about me, this was about we. Because the reason why we have this bond and the reason we're standing here today is because the firefighters in, in, in Mesa especially came together and we worked on solutions, real solutions to real problems, real solutions to put the community first. We found ways to become innovative. We found ways to keep first responders on the line, to not shut down fire stations, to not, uh, to not lay off first responders. We had to be innovative. We had to be together. We had to work together. We had to overcome differences, and we did. That's why I'm so honored to have this support today. We showed how what can happen when people come together, faced with, a, with real challenges, 
and having a goal in mind, working a plan, and putting community first, everybody wins. People in Mesa were safer, lives were saved, our, our citizens understood the sacrifices that they were asked to make, our first responders made sacrifices, and our leaders got together and recognized that this was the time to pull together. So I am so very grateful to Brian and to all the firefighters and the organization and the 7,000 around this state, first of all, for what they do on a daily basis. Secondly, for their love of this state. They've done some incredible things recently, coming out first to confront real issues such as with pensions, recognizing that the long-term future of not only their members, but our state is paramount. I pledge that I will work with them, just as I have as a mayor, so that all Arizonans can benefit, so that all Arizonans can be safer, so that our first responders can have the kind of security that will, that will enable them to show up every day knowing that they have the support of not only their government, but their citizens. This is how problems are solved. This is how futures are built. This is how people can come together to build a better Arizona. So thank you, Brian, and the organization. Thank you to all our first responders for all they do on a, on a daily basis, literally, to make our community safe, to make our homes safe, to make our neighborhoods safe. And I am deeply honored for their support because I know that it comes from a, 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 a track record of proven accomplishments of working together and, and being committed as a team to building a better Arizona. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.